the job. What's up, guys? I'm Django Fett, hunting down games, comics, TV shows, movies, and more. And to get ready for the new Dawn of the Planet of the Apes movie, I've decided to do a movie review of Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which came out in 2011. Now, before I watched this movie, I wasn't a big fan of the Planet of the Apes movie. Not the shitty one with Mark Wahlberg. Ugh. But the 1968 version. I thought it was okay, but it did have some great memorable quotes that a lot of people remember to this day. And this is a spoiler, but some of the quotes from the 1968 movie are said in this movie, which is awesome. I love that. Those Easter eggs are perfect when they're shown in this movie. That's a huge pro right there. Eventually, I'll watch the, you know, the old Planet of the Apes movies. There's at least four or five right after the first Planet of the Apes movies. I definitely want to check them out one of these days. But anyway, if you're unfamiliar with the rise of the Planet of the Apes, it is the prequel trilogy to the Planet of the Apes movie. After Rise of the Planet of the Apes, it's going to be Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and then the third one, whatever the name should be. And they tell the very beginning of how the apes will become smarter and eventually take over. But Rise of the Planet of the Apes is the first movie of the prequel trilogy. Now, if you're unfamiliar with my reviews, I discuss the pros of the movie, what I liked about the movie, the cons, what I hated about the movie, and then I give my score out of five. So let's start with the pros of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. First, the CGI. There is a lot of CGI in this movie, which seems to be a bad thing nowadays, but it works, works impeccably well. It looks and feels awesome. It looks like actual apes are in this movie and not CGI apes. This is CGI done right, unlike other movies. Yeah. The apes from Caesar to the orangutans to the gorillas all look really good. And the action sequences towards the end of the movie looked fantastic with the CGI. And the final battle at the end left you in awe. Also the story, fantastic as well. The story is about an ape named Caesar who gains human-like intelligence and emotions from an experimental drug. This drug was tested on the apes to see if they will cure the non-curable diseases that have plagued humans, like cancer and Alzheimer's. Raised like a child by James Franco, Caesar eventually befriends James Franco's character, but eventually after an incident, Caesar is imprisoned to an ape sanctuary. And after a while, he decides and formulates a plan and decides to revolt and escape from the humans. Also, the characters are very well done. Caesar played by Andy Serkis, is the main character and someone you really back for his cause and you really care about. You care about him more than even the human character. And you just, you really root for his cause, for the apes' freedom and just escaping from the humans and just finding a home for themselves. Also, James Franco is in this movie and it sounds like a bad thing. He actually plays a really good part as his character. He is the scientist for a company who is creating a drug and he's the caretaker of Caesar. But I really, really like this character. After Caesar, it's him, definitely. He did a solid job in this movie. And I did say this before, but I did like the references from the original Planet of the Apes movie. And it actually made connections to the original movie. And they did say some memorable quotes in this movie, which were awesome. And those are all the pros I can mention. A lot of pros, I know. Now let's discuss the cons of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. A couple of minor characters in this movie were completely forgettable. James Franco's girlfriend, who was very nice, but I just didn't like her character and I just didn't, I didn't think she was good at all, sorry. And a lot of people are gonna say this is a con. I don't consider it a con, but I think a lot of people are gonna say it. But John Lithgow's character, and a lot of people's eyes consider bad as the dad of uh, Franco's character, who suffers with Alzheimer's, and is the reason why Franco is driving to find a cure for his father. That's the motivation for Franco's character. Take care of Caesar but to also save his dad from a deadly disease. I really liked Lithgow's portrayal 
as the you know the father suffering under suffering with Alzheimer's I really liked that and I liked Franco's drive to do something for his father to really do something for his father and I really can't hate on John Lithgow ever since Third Rock from the Sun which is the best sitcom of all time you're not gonna tell me otherwise but I love Third Rock from the Sun he stole the show but yeah I can't really hate on him I can't consider it as a con but uh, a lot of people are gonna consider it as such also David Yolo's character who is the antagonist in this film didn't feel like one and that's another thing in this movie there's no strong or clear antagonist in this film but this doesn't ruin the film in any way whatsoever so those are all the cons and I did really really enjoy this movie when it first came out and I still love it to this day and have to give it a 5 out of 5 it's a great movie that everyone needs to watch. This movie definitely changed my outlook on the Planet of the Apes movies. Ever since the Tim Burton Planet of the Apes movie, man that film was dog shit. And it made me interested in the Planet of the Apes mythos as well. And made me want to consider watching the original Planet of the Apes movies. And not just the first one, but like the ones after them. So guys, please like and comment this video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. So I hope you guys enjoyed this movie review. Please check out my other re movie reviews as well, like Godzilla and X-Men Days of Future Past. The links will be in the description down below, as well as in the boxes. So please check them out.